Hello everyone, Jeff here, and this will be the first of our what will probably be weekly updates on Antilio. We'll see how that works out. Let me know in the comments below if you like this new format. This week, the big excitement is that I've got the hotbar starting to uh, starting to work in game actually. So we're going to jump in game and take a look at that. Now there was a question last time if Antilio will support multiplayer, and indeed it does. In fact, it's being built with multiplayer working from the ground up. So this time. If I got my server running, I'm going to jump into the game uh, through the multiplayer system. And we will take a look at the new hotbar. So here it is. Let me get so I can move my mouse around. And you will see that we have a, a nice 3D hotbar that's rendered the same way as the inventory is, is, of course. And it's also I've also got some basic status bars going on as well. We'll discuss those in a minute. Now, until you will have a a sort of right hand left hand gameplay style uh, it's become kind of common in a lot of sandbox rpgs not all of them but you see it more and more and that's the direction i would like to go with until you so you can kind of see right here in the middle we have our left hand and a right hand slot and surrounding those are some sort of support slots where you could put items or techniques uh, skills and techniques that are related to the item on that side of the slot so say if you put a bow in your left hand slot you would be able to put techniques relating to the bow right next to it here, and it would kind of tie those items together. Uh, same with if you put an arrow on the right-hand side, you might have other kind of special effects for your arrows that you could put over here, poison and, poison and whatnot. So I'm pretty excited with the way this is going. Obviously, we haven't tried this out yet, so there'll probably be refinements to the process as we go along. And for now, you can ignore these slots over here to the left. They're going to be replaced with notification items or something along those lines to show that you have perhaps a character that needs your attention, new journal entries, new items in your inventory, uh, that sort of thing. So I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. We still have some work to do. I just got it working literally last night. So there's probably still some glitches that you might notice in this video, especially like you might notice this, uh, this number two over here is poking out of the box a little bit. I'll sort those things out. I, I've noticed them. It just takes a while to get to all these things sometimes and they're just not a priority. So. Let's go ahead and jump into the inventory and you'll see that the inventory and the hotbar are already fairly well connected to one another. You can drag items from the inventory into the hotbar, you can move items around. So just real quick, some of the things that still need to be done, I need to make it work so that when you want to carry a large item, you're able to do that. And the way that'll work is you have to, to carry a large item if you don't have a large crate in your inventory like this one. You can still carry a large item like this, but it will take both of your hands. So what will happen is you'll want to empty out your right and left hands. Then as you start dragging this item, this center two right and left hand slots will, in fact, they'll, swatch, they'll swap out to be one large slot that you can drop heavier items with. And your character will probably have an, uh, an animation to play to show, to indicate that you're carrying a large item like that. Now, there is another issue that I still need to work out, which is when you put a long item like this into a slot, you'll notice it becomes very small and it's very difficult to visually read what that item is. In fact, if I use the fishing pole here, you'll notice it's even worse because the fishing pole is dark in color. There's not a lot of contrast and it's basically just becomes, well, a very a dark line. You can barely see it at all. So I'm working with the other developers. We've tossed around some ideas about uh, making the items appear diagonal or enlarging the box in some way to make it more visible, as well as also just designing our objects, such as this fishing, fishing pole, to have more bright colors in it so that it's more easily recognizable just by looking at the screen. So still some progress to be made, things to figure out, but that's all just part of the dev process. And I kind of wanted to share more of that with you as I do more of these more frequent videos. So you'll see if I drop something into the hotbar here, then return to the game, it's already reflecting in the game how you set up your hotbar. And in fact, it even saves that information so that if I logged out and I logged back into the server, my hotbar would come right back up just like it is right now. So I'm very, I'm surprised how quick that went together. Normally it takes a little longer to develop systems like this. So that covers about all the interesting new features of the hotbar. Let me know what you think of this new format of shorter, more frequent updates. If you enjoy them, please leave a comment below or like the video. And if everyone's enjoying this and I'll keep doing it, there's a lot of topics we can cover from design, programming, content creation, and just general testing and updates. So stay tuned and I hope to see you next time.